Well, what happened is very simple. We had just torrential rain, uh, and that rain did not le uh, leave up. Yesterday and Saturday was a series of storms that just kept on coming. And what ultimately happened is the tributaries and the creeks filled and started to put that water into the Cumberland River. The Cumberland River rose to above the 100-year flood, uh, and the water came over the levee and started to come into the hotel. And there was no way to prepare for that? As far as you can, uh, well, we sure did prepare. Our pre preparation was to get people out of here knowing that it was going to flood. Uh, that's, our guest safety was our first and foremost, along with our stars. But it, we have no way to stop the water coming once it gets over the, over the levee. It looks surreal. Um, obviously, you expect to see the hotel, first of all, with all the flowers blooming. You ex expect to see people walking throughout the hotel, people sitting and dining uh, in our restaurants. You don't expect to see those chairs that they sit on floating across the water in our various atriums. It's probably somewhere, in very, somewhere between 8 and 10 feet both in the uh, Cascades and in the Delta atriums of our hotel. The recovery first starts with uh, having the water starting to recede and going back into the river. Uh, we're still waiting for confirmation as to when we think the peak of the uh, rise of the river will be. Uh, we are still uh, seeing in the hotel more water coming in at this point, but as the water starts to recede, then we can start getting into certain areas. We can start assessing the damage to the hotel start bringing in pumps to pump out the water that doesn't just recede naturally, and then do a complete assessment of how we start to put Opryland back together.